my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You are watching Petite Dressing. If you are new to my channel, I'm 5'2". I'm a petite blogger. I upload videos every week to talk about petite fashion style tips as well as how to dress for your body type. Subscribe to my channel so that you will get a notice every time I upload a new video. I also welcome your comments after you watch this video. If you have questions or anything you want to suggest, today's video, how to dress if you have an apple body shape. Apple body type is very common. And because I have an apple shape as well, there's a lot I want to talk to you about on this topic. In today's video, I will go over with you how do you know if you have an apple body type. Which celebrities have the apple body shape? The strengths and weaknesses how to style the apple body shape and I will share with you some of the mistakes I have made in my earlier years. Now let's get started. How do you know if you have an apple body type? A lot of people get the impression that apple body shape women are the plus size, but that's not the same. An apple body shape could be thin or they could be curvy. When you're trying to decide if you have the apple body shape, whether or not you're thin, you're curvy is not the main factor. The main features of the apple body type. First, the apple shape does not have a defined waistline. I can tell you from my personal experience, even if I'm really, really thin, I still do not have a very defined waistline. And number two, the apple body type tend to gain weight on the abdomen. Take myself for instance, when I'm really thin, you can't really tell, but if I ever gain any weight, it's first noticed on my belly. So that's something that apple-shaped women have in common, is that your weight gain is typically first on your stomach. And number three, apple body-shaped women typically have slender arms and legs, gain weight, and your waistline has got significantly bigger, you still have skinny legs. So apple body shaped women tend to come across as a round shape. I can speak from my, from my own experience. Even when I am skinny, I still come across as I have curves. And typically the apple body shaped women have full chest and round hips. So the apple body shape could sometimes come across as an hourglass if you know how to distract from your bigger waistline and how to find a way to smartly define your waist. Those are the main features to tell whether or not you have the apple body shape. Which celebrities have the apple body shape? In Hollywood, the plus size example of apple body type is Melissa McCarthy. She is also 5'2", so she is petite. Another popular actress with the apple body type is Eva Longoria. Catherine Zeta-John. The next, what is your strength and what is your weakness? Your biggest assets is your full chest and your full hips. In other words, you got the curves. So let's accentuate them. You have slender legs. And a lot of apple body shaped women have firm arms as well. Those are also your assets. Weaknesses of the apple body shape. You probably don't need me to tell you it's really frustrating that any weight you gain immediately show in your midriffs. So that's a common concern of the apple body shape. We always need a way to distract attention away from our midsection. Now, I'm going to talk about how to style the apple body shape and I will share with you some of the mistakes I have made when, in my earlier years. First, you need structure. The apple body type is fleshy versus bony. Because you got curves and you come across as the round shape, you need structured clothing, whether that's a structured blazer or a structured dress to hold it all in. Structured clothing is well fitted and hold up the shape of its own. It helps you define your waist and improve proportion. The apple shaped women need to define the waist, but you have to do it in a very subtle way. The best way I have 
found is to use a peplum top. A signature look of Melissa McCarthy is peplum top with black leggings. In this picture, you can see not only makes her waist look smaller, but it also creates illusion of longer legs. Or peplum dress. You also want to want to make sure flounce of the peplum is long enough to cover your midsection. The contrast of the peplum and that will look like you have the waistline. The best way for an apple body shape to define the waist is to go with a fit and flare shape. It's, it's well fitted in the top, so it highlights the curves of your top, and the contrast of the flared skirt creates the illusion of the waistline. Here is another great example from Melissa McCarthy. The A-line dress clearly defines her waistline in a very smart way and make her legs look longer. The best jeans for the apple body shape. If you have an apple body type, or in general, if you are anyone who is concerned about midsection, you should consider a high waisted jeans because that will smooth it out for you nicely in your midsection. What you should stay away from. We should not be drawing attention to our midsection. This may sound very obvious. However, in practice, we might be making that mistake with now without even knowing about it. For example, the bottom fly jeans are very much on trend. It's very cute, but because it draws all the attention to your stomach, I would not recommend it for the apple-shaped ladies. The most common mistake I have seen is that an apple body shape woman wearing a skinny belt. That really is not flattering. The problem is the belt is going to draw all the attention to your midsection, which is the part that you really don't want people to pay attention to. So if you need to wear a belt, by all means you should avoid the skinny belt because the skinny belt can make things even worse it's skinny, it forms a sharp contrast with your midsection, and that just makes it double worse for you. Color of the belt is very important. I will talk more about it later in this, in this video. If your skinny belt has a sharp contrasting color as your outfit, that will make your belly look even more obvious. Another thing you should stay away from is body contrasts. That is a mistake I have made for years because I am overall skinny, so I, for years, my go-to dress was a body contrast. Guess what that does? It's going to draw all the attention to your belly. Curvy ladies, you should avoid anything that's too tight on you. But that doesn't mean you should wear loosely fitted clothing all the time. You have to find a balance. Look for structure and width definition, as I mentioned earlier. Then, ladies, when you are choosing your clothing size, even though you are generally a small size, make sure your clothes is not too tight on your belly and have enough space for your waist. To define the waistline as an apple body shape is, is to use a monochrome styling. What I mean by that, your belt needs to be the same color scheme as your outfit. As you can tell from this picture of Eva Longoria, the color of the belt is subtle. It doesn't form a sharp contrast with the outfit and that way you can define your waistline without drawing too much attention to the midsection. Do you have an apple body shape? What other tips you want to share with us? What questions do you have? Leave me a comment below and here watch another video how to dress for your body shape and let me know what you think.